but either way, can you give us a little introduction of who you are? Yeah, um, I'm Natalie Paris, um, <laughs> and I'm currently in sixth and musical with Shane Seymour. Woo! <laughs> so it's a pleasure to have you on my channel. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no problem. So the first question is, mm. how did you find out about six? Oh well, um, obviously when I started it, it wasn't really a thing. No one kind of really knew what six was. So I found out about it just purely because I got an audition through it from my agent um, and it was like, um, the description was so funny, it was like um, Beyonce style, concert, pop, musical, Henry the Eighth's Wives and I was like, ah, what is this? <laughs> but I just saw pop and I thought like new musical blah, 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 and I was like, that's so up my street, you know. Yeah. Um, so, in, and even in the audition process we didn't do any choreography from the show and we didn't do any of that. So I mean, yeah, six just through an audition, purely an audition, and, and yeah. Yeah, so was it that it was a pop musical that made you want to audition for it, or anything else far like that? Yeah, I mean, I loved that it was new, it was something new, it wasn't something yeah. that anyone really knew about. Um, and yeah, the pop thing for me is a massive thing, because I've always been kind of somewhere in between musical theatre and pop, so yeah. everything about it, and even in my audition I was like, this is made for me. <laughs> Cool. So I guess you said you found out about Six because of an audition, mm -hmm. um, but what's it like being in a show that you've seen grow so much in the last few years? Oh my god, it's, it's, it's mental. There are no words to describe the last nearly, nearly two years for me. I mean, I'm so grateful. It, it's, it's just been amazing and I think to see it go from a show that no one really knew about to kind of this new up and coming thing that we didn't really know was going to how big or how small it was going to be so to have gone through everything that we've gone through and to see the progression and, and the the amount of fans that we've got from it and kind of how much it's blown up has just been i feel so privileged to have been a part of it you know and we've also grown together i know we've got new girls now but us girls that went kind of on the tour first and so just gone through everything we've gone through, I, I can't, I, I, there are no words to describe it, it's just that it's been an absolute honour and, and I'm so privileged to, to be part of such an amazing show, so from the beginning, you know. Yeah. yeah. What do you think caused it to grow so much? Oh, I think, I think it's a show that everyone can relate to it, you know, whether you love musical theatre, whether you love history, whether... Um, whether you just love the pop, the, the kind of queen, the kind of pop um, girl band vibe and also the message that it, it, it gives people and the way that you feel when you come out of the show I think, I think it's a very special little show and I think the reason that it's, it's got so many, such a big huge fan um, um, queendom, you know, um, <laughs> is because every single person there's something or a queen or a message or something that everyone can relate to, and I think it it makes people feel really good about themselves. I think it's just something that um, everyone needs in their life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so, what's your favourite memory from sex? Oh my god, that's such a hard question. <laughs> there are so many things. Um, I mean, there's like from the tour part, there's being in Edinburgh, there was one night where obviously like it was going really well and, and people were loving it and stuff, but Edinburgh I think was the moment that it, everyone kind of went, whoa, like <laughs> this is something. And I remember one night, because of the first, the first couple of shows that we had were not dead, but they weren't like sold out because people yeah. were still kind of figuring out what, what six was. And there was one night where it was completely sold out and when we went play six, this is so cringe. I literally had <laughs> Us, all of us girls together and yeah. the reaction that we got like that's a moment that I don't think I'll ever forget and, and I think also as well another amazing memory for me was the Olivier's I mean if somebody said to me you're going to be performing at the Olivier's at the Royal Albert Hall I would have laughed you know and, it, and that was another moment where I came off and I cried I was like <laughs> costume would you might just like to have? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, oh, that's 
really tough. I mean, I think arrogance. Mm -hmm. I just love it. <laughs> I just think it's so great. It's so like, yeah, I think if I had to wear, and also all, if I had to go on stage wearing another costume, the one that I feel like, I feel like, yeah, this is so cool, yeah. would be arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite costume, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's so great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all great, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's arrogance, yeah. I think. So, see so as you started off a Seymour with the iconic costume, did you have any influence in that costume? Yeah, I did a little bit. Um, obviously, Gabby um, came up with the concept, I mean, but we were very lucky at the beginning because it was, I guess, designed for our bodies. Yeah. Um, so, I kind of said, don't get my arms out. <laughs> she was like, the length of right? I was like, yeah, the length is fine. <laughs> say is, is in like how much TV, you know, because mine is corseted and I didn't put my arms out and all those little things. I mean, now I wish I had my arms out because I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I know. but I mean, yeah, to an extent, we were quite lucky that we got to kind of just say, we don't feel comfortable about this or that, or, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is your fave mishap that's happened on stage? Oh my, it has been loads. <laughs> There's been too many. <laughs> oh, my favourite one. Okay, one of my I mean, JJ, I love her so much. I'm sure that she'll forgive me for saying this. When we come on, <laughs> after all you want to do, obviously that's the, one of the only times we run off and quickly get some water and yeah. dab our faces in that. So we've got a box of tissues just on, out, um, on this in the wings. So obviously then we all come on and we give it argument scene, sass, you know. And, uh, and JJ was behind us, so she kind of comes in, we, we don't really see her until she storms forward for her line. Yeah. So we're all giving it, and then all of a sudden, she walked <laughs> went, oh, pipe down, Anne. And there was a tissue stuck to her shoe. And worst experience of my whole entire life, all in one. <laughs> As in, I don't know what happened. I felt like I was having an out of body experience. <laughs> Literally, I, I was in the house of Holbein, and I and I somehow I collided with JJ, and I thought, oh my god! <laughs> and I just grabbed like her, but all I grabbed was a piece of string and a cushion, and it went ding, and I'm like, no. <laughs> and you know when you're like falling, but you're trying to save yourself, and you're just like diving, and I thought. Yeah. And I kneeled across the floor. I had obviously for my fishnets, I had little fishnet burn marks. <laughs> but when I say it was so funny, it was so funny. I mean, I was really like, it hit me after. I was like, I've just fallen over in front of 500 people, but whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, very funny. That's Too many. <laughs> um, so, what's your favourite thing someone from the audience has done during the show? Oh, my favourite thing. Um, can it, okay, this, this might be cheating a little bit, but on the first sing-along um, in House of Holbein, when the whole audience got up, <laughs> But like as a whole in general, yeah. the, when the whole audience got up and we were oh. everyone was giving it house and whole time. <laughs> I was like, it was just like so, a light club. Yeah. yeah, I was loving it. Yeah. Every, it was yeah. so good. Yeah, that would be my top one, I think. <laughs> I think that's probably my favourite show I've been to in six, like the first thing I've Oh, yeah. it was, that, that was, was insane. insane. I mean, no one expected what it was going to be. No, like. we were laughing. You know, when like something so overwhelming and amazing, you either laugh and you cry. Yeah. It literally, I went through all of those emotions. <laughs> Um, what's it like performing with a different cast each night? It's so lovely. It's so it's so great because even though there are alternates or swings, they don't feel like they're any less than 
one of the main cast, you know what I mean by that? Like, and each of them bring a completely different vibe, a different energy, a different, they have their own little quirks and the way that they say things that make it really fun and interesting. And I think we're all such a, as a whole, all of us, so tight and, and we all really care and love for each other. So it, it doesn't feel any different, you know, it just, it feels really lovely to have every single person that's part of the team, part of the cast, loving it and giving it and we're all there to support each other and give it our best shot, you know? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, so we were really lucky to go to your first concert. What was it like doing your own solo? Oh my god, it was terrifying! <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was, it was, ama oh, it was amazing. I was, I was so nervous. I mean, like you heard me say about the whole talking <laughs> element of it as well, like that was so daunting to me. Yeah. And also like, I was just, I just thought, what if no one comes? What if no one wants to, to come and see me? What if it doesn't sell? What if you take away? I know, <laughs> it's so true. It's mental. <laughs> but you know, all those things are going through my yeah. head and I just, I wanted it to be, I'm such a perfectionist as well, I wanted to come away and feel like, I felt really good about that, you know, and I was so pleased that I, that I did, I was quite, I was quite happy. So, um, yeah, it was, it was amazing. I want to do another one now. <laughs> about being in musical theatre when you were a child. Was there a yeah. musical that inspired you to go into musical theatre? I was obsessed with Annie. Like, obsessed. <laughs> I watched it, I had the video. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they are now. <laughs> I had the video of Annie and I loved it. And when I was really young, my local dance school, local down drum or something, I can't remember what one was, um, was doing a production of it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to be in it. I wasn't Annie, but I was in it, and I, I just loved it. And <laughs> Sorry for the delay, or the weird camera change. Uh, battery died. <laughs> right. Um, so um, a lot of people who watch my videos are aspiring performers. Do you have any advice, or yeah, any advice you can tell them? Um, yeah, I guess um, something that I've always kind of. I've learned, and I'm still learning, um, is to just be completely 100% yourself. Don't question, don't overthink. Um, as long as you're kind of prepared and you're, you, you have the passion for it and enthusiastic for it, and um, be yourself and, and never give up as well. That's a massive thing. It's so tough, this industry. It's really hard. Um, and all it takes is that one moment, that one kind of break, that one lucky moment. Um, and it could be at the beginning of your career, it could be towards the end, you don't know, but never give up. If this is something that you love and you want to do and you're passionate about, then keep going and one day you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could talk to one of the real life wives of Henry VIII, yeah. which one would you talk to? What would you say? Oh, it's <laughs> tough. I mean, it would have to be Jane, you know, yeah. just because I, I, I play her, yeah. you know. Um, I just want to know what she's like, you know, because we, we, we are playing the queens, but we're not playing them legit yeah. as they probably would have been, obviously, back then. We were kind of putting an element of us into it and a bit of modernisation into it. So, I mean, I would love to actually know what she was like, you know, what kind of personality she had. Um, what she loved to do, just like normal things, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. obviously we know facts, we know things that have happened historically, but we don't really know what she was like as a person. I find that really interesting. I'd just love to know. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, final question for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. So when we wrote this, we're like, this will be really funny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, can you do your Mary has a chicken pot speech in an Australian accent? <laughs> because when you see you in your lives do that, we know you're very talented. <laughs>
Oh, I'll catch laughing on her Instagram, which I'll link down below. Yay! And see you for another fun video soon. Bye!